Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. What did you get on here today and talk some body pump? I've talked in a lot of my videos about my workouts and I do a lot of cardio and I supplement that with Les Mills Body Pump at my gym. What I want to talk about today is if you're not a member of your gym, but you want to do body pump, what are your options? You do have some really good options for that. And I'm just going to jump right into this. Your first option for doing body pump at home without a gym is less meals on demand. You can get that on your Roku, your smart TV, just the internet. If you have access to the internet, go to less meals on demand. I'm linking it down below. All of their workouts are on there and you have access to a large library of Les Mills Body Pump. And you can try some of their other classes. They have a lot of good classes like Vive, some yoga stuff, some stretching, really good classes. You can't beat the real thing. Then another way to get Les Mills in your house Body Pump is go on eBay and get the DVDs. Hang on, I'll get some. When I had ankle surgery and I had to really modify, I got a large library. That's not it. Les Mills Body Pump. And I went on eBay. eBay is just going to be hit or miss. What you can find there, who's got something up for auction. When you go on, I want to tell you though, there's two DVDs in it. There's going to be one that's a CD and that's the instructor music that they probably practice with. Be sure it has a DVD included. I always message the seller. And just make sure there's a DVD in there because that's the actual workout. There's different releases. I have some in the 80s. I have some in the 90s. I have some in the 100s. I have a couple from the 70s. And those are real good too. There's a third option and that is doing it on your own. You can go on YouTube and download tracks, YouTube music and put the tracks to your own moves. So I'm gonna show you my favorite pump moves in case you wanna do those yourself. The pump order is a warm up, squats, then chest, then back, then tries, buys, lunges, shoulders, abs, and a cool down. That's 10. You turn on a song and you work a body part until that song is over. It's not reps and sets, it's songs. That's how you um, time yourself on each one. I would never pretend to be able to put a, an authentic pump workout together. But if I'm, when I'm doing it at home, this is what I like to do. And I get pretty good results with it. So I'm going to show you that. I'm not putting music on this video because I don't, I don't really know what copyright laws <laughs> are out there. And I don't want to get a strike. So go down, click on a YouTube link for one of these tracks. After I show you a move or a body part, pause this video turn the music on and try it yourself. Let's talk about equipment. And the first equipment is a starter set of dumbbells. Threes, fives, sevens, and I think tens. I have those all linked below. You're gonna need a barbell and you're going to need plate weights, which are these that I have on. And start with a set of fives and a set of two and a halves and a set of clips. And the clips are just what keeps the weights on. I will tell you, you can get by with one or the other for a while. Just this or just the dumbbells until you get used to it and see if you like it. And then you'll know what you need to add. Okay, every pump starts with a warm up. I don't really know how to tell you a warm up. Do a few squats, do a few lunges, maybe a few curls. They're just warming up each body part. When I'm doing it on my own though, I skip the warm up, honestly. Okay, so I'm gonna start with squats. We do a whole song of squats. And you're doing squats at different um, paces. And I'm going to show you what those paces are. Or speeds. And we're doing it to the beat of the music. And it usually starts with slow. Go down for four. Up for four. Beats of the music. Or you might go down fast and come up slow. Beats of the music. One, two, three, Four. Go down slow. Two, three, and up fast. One, two, three, four. And then maybe singles. The music kind of tells you what it wants you to do. You just kind of, it's kind of like dancing where the music tells you how fast to move. You just go all different speeds. And um, also pulses where you just go down and then you're lifting like halfway. And just all different speeds. The speeds are usually down for four and up for four singles on each beat you're moving. Down fast on one beat and up for three or down slow for three and up on one. 
or pulses. Kind of, just kind of mix it up. So stop this video, turn on some music, and try that. Okay, for chest track, it's always push-ups and presses. This is where the barbell comes in handy. And more than anything, we're doing chest presses. And I get my barbell and, you know, just experiment to see what weights you want to use. The song, the song is long, so I usually do 10 pounds on each side. And you're just going to lay down and do a full song of chest presses and maybe some push-ups thrown in there. At all different speeds. Usually start with a slow one. One, two, three, four, up, two, three. Four. Do you see how slow that is? Then some singles. Down two. Up two. My music's telling me what to do. Now I'm going to go down and pulse. Then I'm going to turn over and do some push-ups. I'll show you the different speeds. And you do these on your toes, get up on your, um, I mean do these, <laughs> do these on your knees and get up on your toes when you want more. A slow. Singles. Yeah, all different speeds, and then go back to um, chest press, and just don't stop till the song stops. Okay, next is back. What we do more than anything in back are we vary these moves. This is 99% of back in pump. Go down at different speeds. One, two, one, two. Go down and row. A lot of those. Row. Go down and triple. Two. Three. And up. Okay, and a ton of this next move. And you're going to keep the bar close to your body and go down and flip the bar. Hold on, let me move out. And then go up and then back down and keep the body right, keep the bar right by your body and go down. That's an overhead press. You go down and up, down, keep the bar close to your body. And we do that at all different speeds. So I'll show you some of those. Up, one, two, three, and down. And sometimes up for one, and down, and then some, you know, a lot of times we'll go down and do a row in between. And then down and row. Okay, that is the majority of the, any back workout in pump that you would ever do. If you, if you put all those moves in, you're pretty much doing a pump back workout. Okay, for triceps, I have pretty much three favorite exercises. I use a five pound, dumbbell for this, and my favorite are bent over um, tricep press backs, <laughs> I think that's what they're called, and you just stay square and keep this arm still, and then you just move the bottom of the arm, and that really targets that. Again, all different speeds, different rates. You can also do these, kneel down on the ground like this, leaned over, and when you do this, don't let this hand come in further than your hip or it gets momentum. And then my next favorite are dips. I'm gonna point you over here and you're just gonna get on something real sturdy and take your honey off of it. And then you're just gonna go up and down, keeping your shoulders back and down to protect your shoulders and go, you know, all different speeds, slow. Then you can go super slow, down for four, and up for four, beats of the music, down fast, and up. And then always on any move, the pulses are always gonna make it harder. And then the last one are tricep push-ups. You're gonna keep your arms in real good, shoulders down. I'm gonna show you on the chest because that's a great place to start. You can do it on a wall. The floor is the hardest. This is kind of a medium level. Keep your elbows in and go up and down. Again, all different speeds. Pulse, singles, up two, down two. Again, stop this video and try it with your music. And then this next one, I wouldn't necessarily call it a favorite, but we do it every single pump. 
and that is overhead French press. You get a heavier weight. This is a 10 pound. Keep your elbows in and go up and down. Keep your shoulders down and keep your elbows in. Go down all different speeds. Pulse. Then go down for two, up for two, singles, all different speeds again. Stop this video and try it yourself with the music. Okay, then for biceps, you could do these with dumbbells. Actually, we do this with dumbbells or a barbell, but mostly a barbell. It's harder. And I use five pounds on each side of one of these or five pound dumbbells. And again, you just do all different speeds. Do singles. Up fast, down slow. Two and two. Up fast, down slow. And then we do sometimes pulses. Three, four. And really, you know, what more can you do for your biceps? <laughs> Not a whole lot of moves. It's my favorite. It's the only one. Okay, lunges. Lunges are always a couple of sets of squats. So it should be a squat lunge track because you're going to start out and you're just going to do a couple of sets of squats. Maybe do eight of them, 16, and you're pre fatiguing your legs. So I'm going to bounce it. My music's telling me to do that. Okay. We do a couple of sets of squats and then we're going into lunges and you do lunges until you really feel like your legs are going to die. I'll tell you if you're just starting out, hold on to something. Okay, these are the different speeds you might do. Single, and step back, down, up, together. Do about eight or 16 of those. Okay, and then maybe go back and pulse. And then pulse for four, sometimes eight, sometimes 16. I mean, it will, it just kills. Hang on to something if you need to. Keep your shoulders back and focus right here. Put your hand on your glute and then go back and single. Okay, and you just do lunges all different ways. Be sure you work your legs evenly. Okay, next is shoulders. And um, I have a lot of favorite shoulder exercises. Usually in shoulders, you will either start with um, a couple of sets of push-ups, eight push-ups. Sometimes we'll do upright rows, all different speeds, bent arms, up fast, down, you know, just all speeds. Up hold, down. Do that till your shoulders get tired. And then another one I really like is called a Mac raise. And this arm goes back like that. This one goes straight up. I love that because it works the side of your shoulder and the front. Um, another favorite, oh, another, I love these. You go side and then turn your arms out like this and then press up. Put that to some music, you'll love it. <laughs> I also like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then back to these, or my graces. And then always, we end a shoulder track with overheads. I usually end it with the barbell. And you're just going up, usually two sets of eight to make that easier. Use your legs. Oh yeah, those always, always hurt. Okay, and then for abs, just pick your favorite ab exercises and do it to the music. Do crunches to the music, do, you know, hold planks for eight counts of the music. Bicycles are great. There is one exercise that I'll show you that I love that you may not know about. You put your legs over to the side and put this arm behind your head and this arm out and then come straight up, point your chin to the ceiling. I love that. And just do it at all different, again, all different speeds. And then planks, you cannot go wrong with a plank. Um, down on your um, elbows with your whole body in a straight line. You can go forward and back. And then for the abs, my favorite, and I've shown this in other videos, but my favorite is this. Just a straight, a straight side plank and then kind of press up. That is so good for the obliques, y'all. Okay, and those are my favorite ways to do pump without a gym. First best option, less meals on demand. 1B best option is um, to get DVDs off of eBay. 
And then if you want to supplement or you just want to do it at home, Google great moves for each body part. These were my favorites. And then you put on real good music because it's kind of like dancing. Um, if, if somebody asked you, don't you get tired of dancing, doing the same moves? No, because the music changes. That's like pump. I never get tired of it because the music changes and it's always good. And don't stop working while the song is going and you will be doing a pump-like workout. I hope this helps somebody. And if you try it, let me know how you like it. Everything is going to be listed down below. That's all I have for you. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day. Bye.